Sherry and Michael returned to the medical clinic with a continued complaint of lousy libido. And I'm here to tell them it's not just about the sex that they're struggling with. Their body's health is giving them a warning from the inside out. This couple in their mid forties has several other medical problems, but the one that bothers them the most is what's happened to their sex life. Several of their friends have had their relationships and in divorce recently. The last thing they struggled with was that their sex life had gone to the pits. Sherry and Michael have been to me for this problem before. We've used Viagra and sex hormones and a therapist to try and address this problem. But today's visit, I'm telling them that six weeks of a strict ketogenic diet will do better than their sex therapist or their hormones. That libido is low because their body isn't being fueled efficiently. And this didn't just happen from one or two nights of poor sleep. This happened from years of their body being fueled by one source of energy, and that's glucose, which has led to insulin resistance. Over the last four or five years, Sherry and Michael have both put on weight. As they continued to eat a standard diet, their bodies stored the fat and became a user of only glucose. Over this past decade, their efficiency to be able to use glucose faded. And that turned into a brain that wasn't quite as sharp and a body that's low on energy. And I contend that if Sherry and Michael switch their fuel to a ketogenic fuel for the next six weeks, we'll take their sex life from lighter fuel to kerosene. Step one is taking that high carbohydrate diet and reducing it to less than 20 total carbohydrates a day. In trade, we want them to eat about 75% fat. It'll take a couple of weeks before they start to have better sleep, better energy during the day, and a decreased appetite. It's through that season that they'll start to feel an improvement in the heat in the bedroom. The second thing that Sherry and Michael need to pay attention to is their sex hormones. And we tried things like Viagra, as well as sex hormones, like testosterone and some bioidentical hormones. Despite those prescriptions, they've only found short-term improvement. If we were to biopsy the fat of Sherry and Michael, you would find my prescriptions of the testosterone and the estrogen that I prescribe. The high insulin states found in this couple is directing those hormones into storage. As that insulin decreases and unlocks that fat, it will unload that stored energy and any of the fat-based hormones like vitamin D, testosterone, estrogen, aldosterone, cortisol, all of these fat-based hormones are stored in their fat cells because of that high insulin. The best part about this ketogenic state is it won't be short-lived. As long as they stay in that state of ketosis, they will continue to make a better, more stable and solid production of those sex-based hormones without my prescription. Sherry and Michael took me up on that bet and they did enter into a state of ketosis for six weeks. The good news, I didn't see them for nearly six months. They didn't need a refill of those sex-based hormones. And the last I heard, they were headed for the best chapter of their married life. This couple improved their libido with keto, but if you wanna see the best sex life, it happens when the brain is working better. If you wanna see how that works on the ketogenic diet, check out this video for the best orgasms yet.